Hey, this is Ciderhelm. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be covering my very first ranked game. Uh, now, in Season 1, I didn't play any ranked games at all. I uh, just was usually leveling with other players, or well, when I started out, I was playing with a lot of players who had transferred over from Heroes of the New Earth, uh, and they hadn't reached level 30, and we decided we didn't want to get into ranked games. Um, and just generally speaking, I haven't been terribly interested in ranked games, uh, just because a lot of my friends aren't, so it hasn't really gotten me. But I know a lot of you have been requesting it, and some of you have been saying, well, you got to get into ranked games, you got to, you know, this is really important to your credibility on League of Legends. Um, and, you know, to some degree that's true, although I don't play it competitively, and I don't pretend to play it competitively. Uh, but I did, this is my very first game, I just want to jump into it a little bit. Um, and another part of this is I've had a real problem getting any kind of video coverage for League of Legends that was worth anything. Uh, primarily because I've been playing with a lot of brand new players to the game. So when I get in games, it usually tends to be either we lose terribly, which doesn't you it's not usually the case, but it just depends on who you're matched up against. Or more commonly, we're winning, but it's face roll because we've got new players on the other team. Uh, and the couple of us that have been playing with these new are playing with these new players who are experienced. We're just steamrolling over it, so it's not very enjoyable. Uh, but we've had, you know, I've had a few good games, but really not enough that I really wanted to pick one and say, you know, this was a good game. I'll go ahead and narrate this, uh, and I'll put this up. So this is my solution to that. This was my way of guaranteeing that I could get a game I'd be happy with, because even if it's a great game or not a great game, it doesn't matter because it's a f my first ranked game, so I can justify it. Um, well, anyway, so, and I've been playing Diablo a lot, which is, and I got, I've got quite a, you know, got a, quite a collection of Diablo videos for Diablo 3 beta uh, already up uh, on my YouTube channel, so that's been eating up a lot of my time as well. Um, well, anyway, so here you go. I'm playing Galio. Uh, my first experience with the rank queue was it took a long time. We had three people queue dodge, or three games that were canceled because people queue dodged. Uh, I don't like that Amumu is always banned. It makes me sad, but that's, you know, of course, from only three games. I don't know if that's always the case, but I already kind of knew that from, like, Elements tier list and a few other things. Just kind of paying attention to the community. I know Amumu is frequently banned, but it uh, makes me sad. The other thing that makes me sad is I'm on the bottom of the picking list, which meant that I had to take what nobody else wanted to play and everybody wanted to play a carry. Actually, this team isn't so bad. We actually have a good team comp here, uh, which was somewhat surprising, but in the previous games, everybody wanted to play a carry, so I was like, I had resigned myself to Galio, who I enjoy a lot. He's a lot like Amumu. Uh, he's a little stronger against magic characters, uh, and they're... Who is it? They're Katarina, who generally is AP, right? Uh... She was at the top of their selection, and as I understand it, the player with the highest elo is the player who's going to be selecting first, doing the bans. Uh, so I figured, you know, that's the player I gotta watch out for. Um, so the second part of this is I'm playing Galio, so it's a good idea for me to go ahead and solo top. Uh, as you see, I'm playing very, very cautiously. I am not harassing Ash as much as I could, but the reason for that is, as Galio, it's very hard for me to get in a position where a harass on Ash doesn't also push the minions. My goal is to stay pushed up against my turret as often as possible and keep her forced to be up here. Uh, now, we're both placing wards. Actually, I don't think I've placed a ward just quite yet here. Uh, but as I start to, or as we start to, you're going to see we're keeping wards up the entire time, and I'm keeping track of when those wards went down, uh, making sure that you'll, you'll just see me type it in chat, the minute timer that they're going to come off cooldown. Uh, so I got a little bit more harass on Ash here, and now Galio is really strong against Ash. Not, not by default. In this situation, I happen to be very strong against Ash. There's a lot of burst potential. Now the thing is, Galio, he is best when you can get away with stacking magic resist, and that was what I was doing here, uh, because he gets ability power off of magic resist. He can obviously, and he should, in a situation where you're dealing with hard AD carries, he should be building this. Oh, we've got our first kill here. Ash came in, and this is exactly what I'm talking about, kept her up to the tower, and even though she had this warded, we are able to clearly see her, get behind her, chase her down, and kill her, because we had all of this. So the advantage of having all those minions for so long push at the tower has just paid off. Uh, now it's 11 minutes, almost 12 minutes into the game at this point, so it's... Um, eh, it's a pretty passive game just as far as what I'm doing, but I am trying to keep stuff pushed back. And the game has not been going well for particularly our bottom lane. Uh, well, actually, I haven't been paying attention too much to our bottom lane. 
Our Brandon mid is not doing as well as he probably should be. Uh, and I believe that was against Katarina. Uh, so anyway, you know, I've got a worry here. I've got my ward out. I just pushed a little further, but this is my opportunity to back a little or at least go check out other things going on. I'm going to go ahead and place another ward here. The other thing I'm noticing in this game is nobody else is placing wards. Um, so I'm keeping myself very, very protected, and the wards are helping me. Uh, I mean, they're frequently helping me, helping with these ganks. Uh, that you're going to see another one. Again, pretty passive game, so it's going to be a while before you see another one here. Uh, and, and if you're not familiar, if this is like your first video you're watching with me, I speed up everything that isn't like a kill, an assist, or a death. Uh, just because I don't think they're very fun to watch. So that's why you're seeing this at a pretty fast clip here between each of these. And it's still going to be like another probably minute before we get to the next one. Uh, but anyway, these wards are very effective, and we're really not... Nunu actually places one near their Katarina at mid, and that's good. Uh, but that's, as far as I'm aware, from just when I glanced through the game, wasn't there. There really just wasn't much of it. Uh, now, our Nunu is a little behind on levels for where he should be, but he's actually going to play... He's going to do a pretty good job in this game. Uh, and our Alistar, as well, does a pretty good job in this game. And at this point, I'm being more aggressive toward this Ash. I don't want her to get tons of creep kills. She's going to do pretty well on farming, just because I have been so concerned about keeping her at the tower. Uh, but she was also, like, their lowest ranked pick on the thing, so she's... I'm just taking a guess that I'm not going to be too worried about her. Again, a reason that I'm building more magic resist. Uh, obviously, the Merc treads are going to be common no matter what. Uh, but as you see, I'll go for Banshee's Veil next. Uh, Banshee's Veil, again, good no matter what, but... Uh, certainly it is in the in league with uh, going for more magic resist. Okay, so Nunu's here, but she did have it warded. Nothing's going to happen here. Uh, Nunu's going to go ahead and head back down. Now, mid isn't being covered too much, and Brand is getting chased through the jungle. What's going to happen to Brand? He is dead. Katarina got him. Again, Katarina is a big concern here. Uh, now, Galio, I didn't actually have the guide pulled up. Normally, I wouldn't go for the chalice. Uh, I believe that's called the chalice. Uh, I'm just going through the recommended items, honestly, because I don't actually remember what it is. But I was thinking through this game. You'll notice I have clarity, but because I am being so, because I'm so concerned about not pushing these minions out and not having to go past the river when I can't account for everybody, because I am so concerned about this and not using many abilities, I don't think during the course of this game I use clarity even a single time. Uh, so that's something I'm going to keep in mind going going into this in the future. Uh, making a decision with my summoner abilities. Now, if I were bottom lane, usually, especially if I'm with a very strong, uh, let's say, like, if I'm with a Morgana or something, it is fantastic to make use of clarity, uh, and it's fantastic to use it, but when I'm top or when I want to keep them near the tower, I don't think that was a good decision. I've learned from it. That's a good thing. Same thing with the Chalice. Same thing with getting the mana per five. It's just not that valuable to me because I'm not having severe mana problems. Now, we're about to get another kill here. Nunu's right here. He takes longer than I wish he would have, but I'm still going to get out of this. Easy kill on Ash. I'm going to get very, very low, but I am going to make it out. That's good. Okay, on our way back out, and you're going to see me get completely safely away uh, because we do have a bit of a fight bottom. Now, I'm looking through the items. Just bought the Negatron Cloak. Uh, this is, again, going to be of benefit to me. Katarina, we just saw up at top. Uh, <coughs> I'm not sure exactly what goes on here but coming back up here I'm gonna go ahead and reward this that one has like 28 seconds on it still but it's a good idea just to make sure that there's no downtime between the expiration At this point I'm going to be a lot more uh, aggressive towards this ash so anytime she gets near anytime she's trying to get stuff she will still get stuff because her volley is very very strong it's basically an AoE auto attack uh, and pretty similar to that in concept but I am going to keep her more away. She just placed a ward, so you're going to see me put the time right in there. That's when it's going to expire. I'm not sure my teammates are paying too much attention to that, but at least it's good for me to have a good idea when somebody could gank to let them know. Uh, okay, so here we're going to get Ash back just a little more. Malphite's coming here. Again, the wards play a big part in me easily getting away. Uh, I have no concern at all about them. I tried to break that just to be annoying, but I completely failed. Uh, I do have to get used to Galio's range a little bit more, uh, particularly on his Q, although I don't miss many of my Qs this game. His Q tends to be uh, the shorter range ability that I really have to get used to with smart casting. Okay, now as we're coming up here, we're about to come into another kill. Actually, we're going to be pushing the tower here, and Ash is going to make the mistake of trying to harass us at a distance here. So as we take the tower down, 
Malphite's here. Ash is probably harassing us because she thinks Malphite's going to be able to do something here. Unfortunately, between the three of us, we are going to take out Malphite as well, and it's not even going to be difficult. Well, it's going to be a little difficult because of all that barrier around him, but he's still down, and we're still on our way out. Again, Noon has been pretty good this game. He was a little behind in the jungle from where he should have been. Just placed another ward there. And again, you're not seeing many wards anywhere else on the map. Uh, but Noon has been doing a pretty good job here. Katarina just came to cover top. I'm not going to be able to do too much, and I'm going to stay here just for a second. I don't want to go out there and face that Katarina alone just to be on the safe side. Uh, and I'm not sure exactly how we match up against each other. I might do okay against her. But I do want to make sure that I'm not going out there too much. So here... Even though I could push out, even though I do have the ward there, I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to go ahead and go back. And I asked Nuna to cover this. And then as I'm going back up there, I realize that I'm probably going to be very useful on bot. So that's where I'm going to go ahead and go. As I'm running over there, flying over there, using my gust to get a little bit of a boost in speed. I'm going to come in here and surprise. I'm kind of expecting someone to be there, but I didn't really know who. I hit her, and then I slow her. And then, get in here, Malphite knocks everybody up, but it's followed up by my con. Now, Ash was expecting them, but Ash just shot an arrow. If you just saw that arrow, it's because she's way up at the top left. She thinks they're going to push into us when, exact, when it's exactly the opposite. So have they been able to initiate on us, that arrow would have been very important to them killing all of us. Uh, however, because we initiated on them, it went the other way. The arrow just went right past us, and we have taken everybody out. Uh, obviously not Ash, because Ash, again, is not here. She's going to get here as soon as she can. I'm going to go ahead and take this out. A couple of our teammates are going to want to take out this Ash. It's not a terribly good idea, because Katarina is going to be coming up soon. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and go back. I'm going to go ahead and pick up my Banshee's Veil, and then get right back into the action here. So I'm flying up top, and... It's pushed out really far, so all I'm going to do here is I'm going to ward, and then I'm going to move to where hopefully there's going to be a little bit more action. And as I get in here, we do have Malphite, we do have Pantheon, we do have Orianna. Now what I'm going to do here is Orianna's about to come in, if I'm not mistaken, we're going to cut her off. So she is forced away from her teammate, and then as we're in here, I'm going to use my ult just to secure the kill. It wasn't necessary. I wasn't aware of uh, was particularly Misfortune being there. I wasn't aware we had that much of a team there, so I went ahead and used the ult. I felt it was a good idea. It didn't necessarily net the kill. It wasn't necessarily a bad idea to do anyway, uh, just in case something else had happened there, if somebody else had come in that we hadn't accounted for. Okay, so here we are. We're just going to do a little bit of a push, and then we're going to go ahead and move over to Dragon. Uh, a couple of the teammates are going to go there. I'm just keeping the lane pushed so they aren't fully aware that we're going over there. They didn't see us all move that direction. And I went ahead and put a ward there so we're aware of anybody coming in here. I was expecting Ash to go ahead and shoot an arrow. Uh, so I was behind with my Banshee's Veil behind the team. However, she didn't. We're going to go here. This is fantastic. Pantheon gets kicked out of Nunu's ult by Alistar. And then he runs back in Nunu's ult for the kill. It was a fantastic maneuver on his part. Okay, so right now we're headed towards our first team fight. Now I'm expecting to tower dive them and go ahead and alt them, but the tower just falls over dead. No problem there. We see Malphite coming out of the Fog of War. He's at top. He's going to come through the jungle. So we're going to go ahead and go here, particularly with Pantheon here. And this is kind of the final battle here. Now what I'm watching out for is Katarina the alt. I'm getting out of range, so I'm going to flash him. That's my thinking here. Malphite's gone ahead and initiated the fight here, waiting on Katarina, and then Katarina's basically dead. Now I flashed and it took me a second longer to get in, uh, longer than I wanted to. I'm going to go ahead and get the kill on Ash here, and they're already retreating, which is actually pretty bad that Ash was in the front. Uh, either that was Ash's mistake, or it was Pantheon and Orianna's not backing up Ash, uh, not staying in that fight, not committing to it. Uh, but overall, it was a pretty simple victory. I do hope you enjoy it. This was my first ranked game, and I hope to bring you more in the near future.